Hey guys, it's me, and today, if you obviously read the title, I'm going to be reorganizing my LPS and some of my accessories. Not everything, just most of it. Because the way that I organize it, like, now, is, like, I'm going to show you, but it's not really convenient, and I obviously want it to be convenient and have space for extra LPS and stuff, so... Yeah, that's why we're going to be reorganizing the stuff. And I know I haven't shown you how I organize my LPS because, to be honest, I was planning to do that when we have like 100 subscribers or something like that, you know, for like a special. But not thinking about it, I don't think I'll be able to keep the way I organize it for that long just because I'm getting more LPS and I don't have the space for them the way I'm currently organizing them. So yeah, let's just let me just show you how I'm organizing them right now. So I have this like whole like cabinet like section thing for my LPS stuff and then we have those for LPS stuff and then like those. So yeah, it's like spread out. So the main place I want to reorganize is my LPS section because as you can see here, colors. <laughs> um, So like it's just really crammed in there. Well, not really, but you know, like here. And as you can see, the dividers, they're not high for like so I can't really put more LPS on top of it unless, you know, I do it like this. And I don't really feel like that's convenient. I have my Lucky Pets divided into sections. These, I'll keep them the same. I just have some of my favorite customs here, you know, to keep them protected and stuff. And this has nothing. I just have this here because this thing moves, like, you know, shifts because uh, there's nothing here. So, yeah, that's what that is. So that's how I organize it. My minis are like divided, which I like that. But to be honest, I don't really need it. And I don't really have that many minis if I put them together. So, yeah. And then these are just like separate from here. I just, those are like my hooved animals just to fill that space in. Yeah, I have two places where I keep my LPS. So this is like the LPS for my videos and everything. And these are like my series type. LPS like they're like I don't know from like mm, I don't know how to explain it so like my premium pets down here I got my teensies they're like co special collection LPS things that I won't use in videos like in here I have like oh yeah these are my other Zoe trims okay so I have this like container from the Ace Hardware store and I just keep my other special LPS in here like so we have like Zoe's and, you know, stuff like that. And then down here, I have more of my extra LPS. Well, no, not extra. I just don't, I will never use them in videos, you know? Like, as you can see here, those are my custom bases right there. We have duplicates. Um, that's a giant penny ling. And then others, these are my like other bad customs. So, yeah, so I just organize them differently. I have those things there. Yeah, so pretty much... I am going to be reorganizing um, the top part so it's more convenient for LPS that I'll use in videos. And I will also be reorganizing my furniture accessory things because my furnitures are divided into a lot of different places. And I want them to be in one place. And then my accessories. So for my accessories, I keep them all in here. So... so here I keep my LPS branded accessories. I keep my other accessories in another place, which I'm obviously trying to reorganize them, so I'll put them in another place. So, yeah. And then here I have my other accessories. If I put, these are like my medium accessories. If I place them in here, there's not a lot of space. I like to have space in my things, you know? So I just keep them here. We have, okay, so these are just like my Hungry Pet Thirsty Pet clothing i have a lot of hungry pets and thirsty pets because their accessories are really nice like the foods and stuff here are all from hungry pets and thirsty pets not a lot from sets so this is where i keep all my accessories i have my clothing and then my other ones here they're all hasbro made because i like keeping them separate here i just have all my non hasbro and they're just all chucked in this container. So I want to, so I'm planning to get rid of all my clothes and put them in another container. I'm planning to put them here. This is where I keep some of my homemade accessories. Like they're all homemade. I have a separate drawer, like right there for all of my homemade accessories. And that's a lot. So 
Yeah, I'm just going to be reorganizing some stuff. So, yeah, not all of them, just some of them. So, yeah. So we're going to be, sorry about that. And if the camera's wobbly, I apologize because I'm holding it right now. So, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, let's just get started in reorganizing. And the reason why I'm showing you this and making a video is because I want to show you guys how I'm going to reorganize it. Yeah. Okay. So, so this is where I keep, like, my accessories. They're in this, like, container. So I bought another one, this one, right here. And I'm going to be placing all of my homemade stuff in here. I have two containers where I keep my homemade stuff. So I have a whole drawer here dedicated to all my homemade stuff. So that's the second organizer container thing. Here, this is where I keep most of my foods that I make. Those are like my medium and then these are my big accessories that I make. So they're all in here. So, yeah, I want them to be in one container, which is why I'm going to be compressing them into this big container here. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to have space because this is pretty big, you know? So, yeah, let's just get started and put all my homemade stuff in here. The reason why I'm putting all my homemade stuff in here is obviously because I want to have only one container, not two. And also because I'm going to put all of my clothing accessories into this container because it's medium it's a good size for of all my clothing because i don't have a lot of them so yeah let's just get started so i just finished moving all of my homemade stuff into this container and now i'm left with these two empty containers, I don't know what to put in here, but it's good to have an extra container, you know, if I have extra stuff which I need a place to put, I can put it here. At least the smaller things that I can fit there. And then in this container, I'm going to use to keep all of my clothing stuff. So, yeah. Now, I'm going to move all of my clothing accessories from here and put it into the container. This container right here. So I finally finished putting all of my clothing accessories, every single clothing accessory, besides my hungry pets and thirsty pets accessories, they're still in one in the same place. So I added a lot of my clothing accessories. So I add have like the deco um things that I bought from Daiso. They're like flowers which you'd use like in scrapbooking and stuff. So I placed them in there so I am left with the bags that they were in. So I'm gonna throw those away. And then right here in this like spot right here, I placed all of my like well in these two sections, I placed all of the accessories that I don't usually use in my videos. And I used to put them in this small container here. And since I have them there so now I have all those empty containers. I don't know what to do with them, but it's, again, good to have extra containers, you know, in case you need, you know, more containers. You can, you can never have too many containers. But since I put all my clothing accessories, now I have, now I have empty spots in the container right here. So I think that I'm going to place some of the non-brand LPS accessories that I use a lot in here because I just have them all chucked in that one container and I don't think that's very convenient. It's definitely not convenient because I have to, you know, rummage through them when I use them. So I think I'm going to organize the ones that I use a lot in this container to fill in the gaps. So I'm going to do that right now. So again, I finally finished adding all of the non-brand accessories from here to you know over there so now i have more space in my little chucked container of non-brand accessories here so i made sure to add all of the accessories that i use a lot a lot that aren't lps brands that's the ones that i placed in here um 
mostly food and, you know, the utensil things. Because Hasbro doesn't make a lot of good utensil things for LPS. If they do, they're not that realistic. Some of these are, like, modern kind of realistic thing. So I had to make sure that I placed them in here. About the chucked container of the non-brand good things, I think that maybe um, I might put them in this small, like, container. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna think of something, and I'm gonna put them in the container. So I found a way to put some of the other non-brand LPS stuff in this container. They're mostly, like, box, like, things from Lego, um, foods, but the ones that I would probably never, ever use. And, um, some more girly things, like, for the rooms, I guess. Again, I would probably never, ever use. So, yeah. With that, um, my container is, like, so, well, like, it's almost empty, but it still has stuff in it, so I, I should probably put find another container to put them in but I don't know what because I don't know I don't think I have a container for like that amount so for now I'm just putting them in that container for now even though it's like halfway full not really it's like so mo it's like it's not that's not a lot it's taking up a lot of space the container so I need to find one that is great for that size because I don't think I'll ever need a bigger container at least I don't think so so yeah, I have this and it's working and yeah. Now we're going to go on to the LPS because I'm done with all my accessory reorganization type things. By the way, I'm just going to show you how it's like set up. So as you can see, the um the small container with the non-brand accessories that I'll probably never use, but it's organized, is, you know, in this little gap here. And I have this one um, thing from the premium pets that I have here. Because here, this is where I used to keep the, like, these flower bow things, which I, from Daiso. Now I keep the um, medium accessories, like, from premium pets. And they're like probably they're bags mostly. We have them here, you know. But this one, this thing doesn't fit there sadly, so I just have it on top. And then this one is just some accessories that are special to me that aren't LPS brand. And they're also painted accessories that chip easily. And I'm planning to seal them like with Mod Podge or something so I can keep them with the others. But for now, they're just there. I have the, you know, container with the rest of my non-brand accessories here with my fabric. I have this container right here, the clothing, the accessories, and then this one is... I still haven't figured out where I'm going to put it yet, but yeah. So that's the accessory drawer. Now let's move on to the LPS. So I have these like um, Tupperware like containers, like in the food section, and they're pretty high. So I'm planning to use them uh, for my LPS. So yeah, let me just take out all the LPS things that I have in the drawer, and I'll just take them out, and then we'll just see how many containers that I can fit into that empty space. So, um, excuse this background thing. I took out my LPS and oh my gosh, that was so heavy. It was so, so, so heavy. It's pretty insane. But yeah, so I keep my LPS, well, I used to keep them in this container, like, ooh, in this container. It's one container. It's a toy where like magnet things. Yeah, um, I don't remember, but like. They're just in one container, and holy crap, it's so heavy. I don't want to lift it again, so yeah. And then over here, it's such a mess. I'm so sorry. I have my favorite customs in these, like, $1 containers. Like, they were in a pack. And then these are just some other customs. This one is, like, Cookie Swirl C Custom, which I just did. Definitely not original. All credit to her. I'm not copying her. I just have it there. And this... This pet, which the jacket is pink. It used to be pink. I just painted it black. You know, to make it look more like 
rebel, you know? <laughs> so yeah, so now we have this container right here, uh, this drawer, it's so messy. But yeah, let me just see how much of the, how many containers that I can fit in the space. So I place the containers, I can only fit five, but it's loosely. And I think that I like it to be loose, so it's easier to take it out without like, problems of LPS falling and stuff. There's not a lot of containers, like, you know, like see the divisions, like the walls and stuff, but I'm not complaining because these like walls are high and I can probably fit a lot of LPS in here. I have this space like here, but I actually like it because I can put my favorite customs in that space. And if I have any more space, I'm just gonna think of something, but yeah. Wow, there's a lot of space. I actually like the space because then I can like maybe try to expand it somehow. I don't know. Um, okay, so we have these two. We'll just put you guys there. You need to stand up, but we'll, we'll put you guys there in a second. Hmm, there's some sort of like space here. I don't know what I can put there if I want to put something there. I don't know, but... We're just gonna think of something. So, so I think my plan is I'm going to be doing cat dogs and cats. They're separate containers because they're gonna fill up quickly, you know, because I'm gonna get new LPS in the future. And then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna divide my non dogs. Right, I'm gonna have my non dogs and cats in here. I'm gonna put my lucky pets in here. And then I'm going to put all my minis and teensies in here because I don't have a lot of minis that will, you know, do a lot. And I'm going to put my teensies here too because they could be like babies or some sort of toys for my LPS. So that's what we're going to do. quite as planned so this is how i'm organizing my lps so if you guys saw in my cool little montage kind of thing this bin overflowed these bins aren't that big sadly but they are definitely better than this one right here i could fit a lot more in even if i even if it's overflowed i can still fit a lot more and i like that this one's better, in my opinion, than this. It's not the best, but it's definitely better than what I had before. So I have my dogs here, my cats here. I don't have a lot of cats, as do dogs. Um, my dogs aren't, like, there's not a lot of them, definitely. Um, I just have them really loosely in here. If I try to compact them, then I'll definitely, you know, fit more in here. The cats, they're definitely really loose. I don't have a lot, so they can be as loose as they want to be. For my non-dogs and cats, I divided them into two sections. These are my boys, and then those are my girls. These are boys and, like, no gender. Like, for example, this koala. It can be a girl and a boy, in my opinion. And then here I have all my minis and teensies. This one went to plan, well... Most of it went to plan. So here I have pretty much all my minis. These ones here are like my kind of special ones. I use them in videos or I use them a lot in my playing thing. Like they just have, hold a special place in my heart, these minis on this side. And then there are my teensies. I organized those teensies before. They were just like that. I just placed a container here. So I have all of my smaller kid-like um, LPS there. These are my customs. Those are just customs that I don't really like use a lot like they're just not that special this one is like copyright I don't want you know I don't don't look at that and then this one is just like a background character it's just black I just painted the jacket and things black so I can just do it anytime I want once I have black you know if I have black paint and remember when I said that I like that it moved a lot yeah if I thought once I thought about it I didn't like it so I placed the red container here so it doesn't make it move a lot so yeah with that organizing that just leaves one last thing that I need to do 
So as you guys know, I use, I was supposed to put my lucky pets in here, but you know, since of the non dogs and cats overflowing, they're still in this container here. So I have no place to put them, you know, in this drawer, but I have a place in this one. So in the second, like, you know, place that I keep my LPS, they're all like special collection LPS and like pretty much just LPS that I won't use in videos. The Lucky Pets, I don't really want to use them in videos. I'll probably use them in videos, but not as often as the other ones. And they're technically special collections. They're the Lucky Pets. They're not like, you know, the simple LPS, you know, the, the classics. They're Lucky Pets, you know. So they're technically special, um, so I'm going to find a place to put them in the second drawer with the other special collection LPS. So I finally found a way to fit my Lucky Pets with the other special collection LPS. So in this container right here, they're just chucked and they're just all in there. I had to move the, like, <laughs> the cardboard divider. Because I don't have a lot of custom bases, so I just moved it so I have more space for Lucky Pets. I have these four LPS on top, and they're kind of, like, not really mush. They do have some sort of space when I close it, when I snap it in. But, yeah. That's that. So, I just finished putting away the extra containers, and... Yeah, so with that, we finally finished reorganizing my LPS and accessories. If you guys want me to do a how I organize my LPS and accessories video, either we reach 50 likes, then I'll do the video, or we reach 100 subscribers, then I'll do it for the special. So yeah, make sure to subscribe so we can reach 100 subscribers so I can do the video, and like so we can reach 50 likes and I'll do the video. Make sure to turn on your notification bell so you'll get notified once I upload a video. Make sure to comment down below if you found this video helpful. And make sure to follow my Instagram and LPS Amino. They are on the screen right now because I post behind the scenes photos, clips, and all that jazzy stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.